All right, what's up, guys? Um, it's Bullseye. You might notice something a little different. Um, I, I guess I'll go over like the history of why I'm capturing now. Uh, a few years ago, like 2009, 2010, during MW2, I uh, bought an Easy Cap. I actually bought two, one for me, one for my friend. And I never used it because I figured that uh, I figured out that it doesn't work with Macs and the software now works. I figured it out. I really just didn't care to use it back then. And now just for like recording like theater mode or uh, just getting like GB proof, um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do some stuff with theater mode so I can now record and my gameplay and stuff. So. This is just a GB match that me and my team had. Uh, we ended up beating this team. They weren't that good. This was like a few months ago. Uh, it's an S and D variant gameplay, and I go seven and zero on this. It's a C town, so let's start it up. I'll do a little breakdown video. So right off the bat, I run street side. Um, I was gonna go climb like top market, but I decided to go to my usual spot in the street. Uh, and the audio may not be like the greatest, just because I'm trying to figure that out right now. So, and I know the video quality isn't great either, but I'm definitely not gonna buy an HD PVR just because I don't feel like spending two hundred dollars for something I'm gonna barely use. Uh, so the reason I basically am using the easy cap right now is just because I just needed something to use just to record some stuff and get some stuff out there, post some gameplay. So this is my little spot I use on street side. Uh, I occasionally peek in and out, um, like so I can see, uh, like back street, like where that guy's at. I can see market, I can see bottom shotgun, top shotgun, that's what my team calls it. So right here, my teammate really, really helped me out there. Um, I I was, thought I was dead, but uh, I got really lucky, ate some bullets. So this is top shotgun. This is what my team calls it. I don't even know why we call it that. We just do. So I look down bottom market, see the guy on my mini map, see his hit markers. He's like, he's my friend calls out. He's bottom market. Jump down, get a hit marker. So I'm like, screw it. Going out the Good job. Get ready for the next round. Kill one. And uh, if you're big into GB or variant or just want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at B O Z Z underscore I. So usually, me and one other person on my team go uh, the left street side or left market on the side, go red. Um, so as you can see right here, they always rush market. And you might be able to see the guy come out of Castle Alleyway right there. He's right in the middle of my screen. Uh, so me and a guy usually rush this way, and I'll watch like the street in red, and he'll watch. He'll be on boxes and watch green and mark it. So I know I'm getting shot from there. I back off, throw some nades. Another guy came from behind. Me. Kill that guy. I know the guy's still gonna be like market or in the castle hallway. So I'm on this side. I usually try to loop all the way around or try to get top green just to get control. And I believe my team goes four and on this map too. So basically, I'm just trying to like be smart, just take it simple. I I know they're gonna plant, and I'm surprised that they haven't right now. But I keep going around, checking all the places they might be able to come from. I'm still checking that back castle hallways, because he was right here looking at me. So I'm thinking he might be somewhere over here. But I'm going over to A-bomb, checking A-bomb, going into bottom shotgun. I'm going to check top. 
If they're not around here, then I know they're going to be near A. I do hit the ground right here. Um, I really didn't care at that point because I knew they were going to be at B. Usually I'm more careful with that. So I see the guy right underneath the truck. And I see that he's going to plant B. So I know that if that guy's going over there, then there must be another one. And it's a 1v2 right now. So right here I see him planting. Get some shots off, but he moves away. Now I predict that he's going to go from B and go back over to here. And since I know that there's another guy, they're going to probably rush me. So I think about it, and I'm knowing that I know that they're not going to come from my right side because if they're over at B, they're not going to be able to get to my right side. So I'm going to predict that they're going to come from my left and my center. So I'm just going to wait and wait on the head glitch, and I tell my teammates the third over my left. So I predict him going in front of me, and then right after I predict him going in front of me. So I get the nice little cute piece right there for the win, and 1v2 clutch. So, I mean, that was a pretty predictable situation, but I also got really lucky because if that guy were over to my right, I would have basically been dead. If he was more by, like, back carpet or over in the library, I would have been screwed. So I try my little bottom street one again because I usually don't go this way twice in a game if I'm seen, but last time I wasn't seen going this way right away, so I decided to uh, hit this route up again. Once again, I check back carpet, go top shotgun, mark it. Just gonna stun a little bit just in case the guy might be up there. So my teammate is in the line. See the guy run out there. I don't know how he got behind us or how he got over there. Still checking that market just because he might have called out to his team that I was market, so they might have been thinking I was going market. So I see the hit markers. I'm just going to stay right here to see that left carpet side by truck. Make sure they don't come through arches. I believe my teammate's planning right now, so I'm predicting that they're not going to come from behind me right now, so I just decide to lay down and get this kind of... Uh, lower altitude of my body so they can't see me as well if they come around the corner. So I believe there's only one left right now, so I'm just kind of staying low. I go over by the back stairs just in case. He might like flank around. He's still got 30 seconds, so he's still got time. Although he probably will pressure because it's a 1v2 with the bomb planted. So my Mitch ends up picking him up pretty easily. So we're going right now into a 3 no lead. We know we can't just give up this map, but we can afford to give up one, but we can't give up two. But obviously, you want to shut out the team. That's just for obvious reasons. Once again, I go this side just to see if I can pick off this guy over here at an alleyway. But they seem to not be pressuring this, pressuring the side right away because of the amount of guys that they lost last time. So it's a 4e3 right now, or 3v4 of them. They have one of our guys down. So I'm, I was trying to just basically here. I was trying to jump out of the ladder without making any noise, and then I hear the guy come down the stairs, so I just I get back up there. So I, right now, I, once again, I jumped. I jumped all the way out because I knew he wasn't going to be over here, and I really didn't care at that point to actually crawl down the stairs. So I decided to go top market. Check bottom castle, make sure he's not in the corners. Check my spot, check back, uh, back shotgun, top. I see him jump down right there, and I get the head shot on him. That guy was head -witching pretty hard, too. I was really surprised when I got that. So they got a plan off. I believe it's a 2v2 right now. 
So Mitch gets one, and we know it's a two v one right now. Maybe that was maybe that was it actually. Yeah, I think that was it. So maybe it was a two v one. So we ended up getting it, and that's the four zero. So I know I don't post much, guys, and. Yeah, I know it's weird if you if you were like, whoa, why is Bullseye posting all of a sudden? Um, I may post more, so if you see it in my if you if you see Bullseye in your subscription box, I wouldn't be surprised. It might just be more uh, theater gameplay, or it could be like live. I might do some live stuff, um, but. My vault is full of scrims with and uh, different things from GB pickups and scrims, so I'll be sure to post a lot more soon. Alright, thanks guys for tuning in, and I'll see you later.